Hey guys and welcome to the video and I hope that you are feeling awesome. Alright guys, I decided to start off this weekly vlog on a bit of a time lapse uh, hunt I suppose you might as well call it. What I'm doing today is I'm recording different locations on the Draycott Park estate in Rugeley. I've often thought about, you know, I wish I could stop here and do some recording. So today guys, I thought, you know what, I'm just going to do that. Well guys, I'm at the second location and uh, I think I've picked a perfect spot here. So, you know, what can I say? You know, perfect location there. And the funniest thing is, if I want to have a quick swing, it comes with a free rope. <laughs> so I'm at my third location, and I must admit, I got here and I was like, all right, I'm just going to do one video here. I discovered that there's a few angles from this location. It's absolutely fantastic. I've kind of gone off track of what I originally wanted to do, but the thing is, is when you stop and you look around, you think, wait a second, I've never seen that view before. The view from here of the sky and the tree and everything that I've got going on here, it's absolutely awesome. Now that would be interesting to see what that comes out like on the old time lapse there. Speaking of being awesome, um, the amount of people have literally stopped and had a chat with me and find out what am I doing and why am I doing it. Um, earlier, I had two post ladies ask me, you know, what am I doing. I had a couple of dog walkers ask me what I'm doing, and uh, obviously, I had a couple of the local residents know exactly what I was doing and asking me when is it going to be uploaded onto uh, Facebook and YouTube. So it's been really, really good today, to be honest, to get out there, and uh, I love it when I get to interact with my local community i realized i'm getting a bit hungry and i'm not that far from where i live and uh i sent yvonne a message are you making any lunch anytime soon and she was like no not not quite yet why and i went oh could you make me two wraps please can i have your customer reference number please um four two five. Oh yes that's it um there you go, sir. Thank you very much. Much yes, appreciated. Thanks. All right, this is one way of getting your plate back into the house. Ready? Through the letter box it goes. Look at this. And look, all the way gone through, guys. So, uh, thank you, Yvonne. Love you. <laughs> Anyways, let's crack on. Wow, guys, I've got myself a nice little spot here. And to be truly honest, I was uh, only here, you know, a couple of hours ago, and I didn't think about it sitting here. And I must admit, the view is absolutely beautiful. Just over these bungalows right in front of me, you can see the wonderful sky, and you can also see the trees as well. And it's just suddenly got really, really windy right now. What is going on here? Wow, guys, I think I definitely picked the most windiest spot ever for this uh, part of the uh, time lapse. Now, I've got to be honest, um, sometimes when I have gone out, I've looked at this location and I've gone, yeah, that's pretty cool, that's pretty cool. But I've never done a time travel video from here. Well, guys, that's been now done for the day, and I gotta confess, I have had so much fun. When I was on my way to one of my locations, a guy stopped me. He goes, "Dude, are you a, are you a cameraman?" And I was like, "Well, kinda." So I described the stuff that I do. I know there is this thing out there. It's like a card, right? It's like a business card, right? And you literally you tap on somebody's phone, and it gives them all of your details so i'm really going to be looking into ways of advertising john's adventures and if you've got any ideas could you let me know in the comments below but anyways i'm now off home and i'm going to spend some time with yvonne show her all the wonderful pictures and videos and such like and then i've got to get myself into bed early guys because i have work tomorrow what a nightmare of a start of the day I have had. To be honest, I woke up so late that I should be leaving the house the time I woke up. And I don't like being late anywhere. And I especially don't like it if other people are waiting for me. But anyways, it's now that time to hit the road.
I got to confess something here, guys. I absolutely love letting people out of junctions because it's kind of like paying it forward in a weird way. Because one day I'll be needing the chance to get out of a junction, right? And somebody might let me out and I'll feel like, oh, thank you. That's much appreciated. And it doesn't cost anything, guys, does it really? Well, anyways, I am now home and I am looking forward to... Well, go through my PC, because what I try to do, guys, is I keep all of my content, everything I record, so I can make a video out of it. And also, if I make screw-ups, I can make a blooper reel out of it. So once I made the video and a blooper reel, I no longer need those clips now, do I? I've got a blooper reel coming out today, so if you haven't already checked it out, go and please check it out. That'd be absolutely awesome. The link is in the description of this video. So I've now got loads of files on my PC that I no longer need. Well, I gotta confess, I have literally had a load of fun getting rid of all these files I no longer need. I wrote it down, so I'm gonna have to read from a piece of paper, so bear with me. I've got rid of 627 files, and that came to a massive total of 48 gigabytes, guys, and I was like, Oh my god, that is an amazing amount of stuff to get rid of. Whilst I was going through my PC, right, I got a message from a uh, viewer and uh, she sent me some pictures. Um, I don't know if you guys are familiar with this uh, Articraft type thing. It's called Diamond Painting. Now, what we're looking at here is literally a kit that she will put together and create this beautiful picture of me and Yvonne together. And i got to admit, guys, it's absolutely fantastic to have somebody to do that for us. And also, I can't wait to show you guys the progresses that I'm uh, hopefully going to be able to uh, show in the future vlogs. But anyways, it's now that time to go and pick up Yvonne from work. But before we do that, guys, I want to take a little bit of a walk up the canal. Wow, guys, we have got quite a few uh, narrow boats moored up here. I lost count, let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, I think it's a nice idea to live on a boat. Don't get me wrong, I love the idea. But there's a little bit of, you know, I want a house as well. Just look at that bridge there, guys. Not only is it an arch, but it's actually cut in on an angle as well. And one thing I love is how, you know, it, it comes together. Look at that. You've got brick there, then you've got stone. As you look at it, you're sort of twisting in on it. It's very strange, but it's very beautiful at the same time. Wow, guys, we've got a family here. There's one, two, three, four, five little ones. And this would have taken hours of craftsmanship to build this, guys. And then you've got this bridge here, guys, which this isn't in use now. But many years ago, this bridge used to take you to Leho Colliery, which goes in that direction over there. And then this used to go directly that way, straight onto the line where Rougie Town Centre train station is. The most annoying part is you cannot get on the top of this. You've got literally fence going all the way around at the top, and then you've got gates on either side, so you can't get through. My gosh, guys, we got more duckies. Well, guys, as much as I love to stay here, I do have to head back to Tesco's to meet up with Yvonne. Right, well, I think I've chosen the most daftest route to try and make a shortcut to get to Tesco's. I've got to make my way through all of this and up this hill here. Right, and hopefully at the top there, I should be able to get onto something. Now, I'm not wearing the right shoes really for this, and I'm hoping that I'm going to carry on. Keep going forward. He said, if I stay as low to the ground as possible, I should make it a lot more easier. Because I was like, right, I really want to show you this, guys. Now, you know that bridge I said that I wish I was able to get onto the top of? What I am stood on here would have had railway tracks. Now, visualise tracks going that way to Rugeley Town Centre train station that way, right? turn around and they used to sort of swerve in that direction there to Lee Hall Colliery which is like just over the side of these uh, trees. Well, anyways, we're going to get back to uh, Tesco's now and uh, go and meet up with Yvonne. Oh wow guys, but just look at the sky here. Wow, so beautiful. 
I'm not too sure what it's going to be like today. Look at that in the sky just over there, the lines. And one thing that I found out is those lines in the sky are not always made by planes. Wow. Well, anyways, let's see what it looks like at work. Guys, just look how beautiful that view is there this morning. And what I love is that little bit of cloud structure there. But anyways, I want to show you some more of the KFC. We have got quite a few things has changed since the last time I've shown you this area. Now we've actually got a roof on now. We've got more of a floor in. We have got a chair over there just to chilling. <laughs> the uh, deadline for the 28th of July is looking good, guys. Where's the sun at, guys? Well, I don't know, guys. It's not too bad, I suppose. But anyways, I am now finished and I'm looking forward to going home. But before I do get home, guys, I'm going to give this car a vacuum because it is starting to really irritate me. So I'm hoping it's not going to take me that long. <laughs> That did not take me long. I not only vacuumed the car, I gave it a bit of an air freshener and also I topped up on the uh, tire pressure as well. And to be truthful honest, I must admit I enjoyed doing that. Hello there. Hello. How are you? I'm good. Yeah? Yes. Why well, you look at me? Look at them. Are you good? That's the question. Are you good? Are you good? Yvonne wants to know, are you good? Yes. Right, I'm going to crack on and get some stuff done now. But yeah. anyways, at least you got to see Yvonne. Hey, say hi to your fans out there, Yvonne. Hi, I don't know if I've got fans. But You've got fans. I don't know. Yeah. Anyway. Hello, hello, hello. Hello there. sky is looking very very dark in places and apparently we're supposed to be in for some good amount of rain in the next couple of days a lot of the adventures i want to do you know rely on being out in a great weather so i was hoping and i was going to be able to go out in the next couple of days and do an adventure video i'm currently editing uh, my next adventure video which i'm hoping to have to the page and also to the channel within the next week or so however today at work I have had a very adventurous day. I um, was given a challenge or a job, I should say, at work to uh, clear up all the weeds around the actual petrol station building itself. And then I took it one step further and I decided to get rid of all the weeds around the curbs as well. I literally filled a um, bag for life bag. And I was like, wow, that is a lot of weeds, guys. But do you know what? I felt absolutely amazing for doing so. And I kind of feel at this moment in time that Oh my God, I just can't be bothered with the negativities. I just want to stay, you know, in the positive frame of mind. Speaking of positive frame of mind, we have more birds. There's one there, guys. And another one just flown down there. <laughs> Look at that. Oh. Oh, there you go. There they are. I was wondering if she was going to run after me and I really do hope I've captured that well because that's literally, you know, on the spot. I thought, do you know what? I'm going to see if I can get her to do that. Oh my God, guys. There's actually a duck here next to where the Rising Brook is in town. Well, anyways, me and Yvonne's doing our weekly shop and uh, she just popped into a shop to do some stuff. And I said, do you know what? I'm going to go and have a look at the brook. 
So now I'm going to be playing the waiting game for Yvonne and then once she's done we're going to crack on and get all of that shopping done and then get home and get on with things that we need to get on with and me I've got a lot of editing to do because like I've previously said I've got an adventure video that I'm hoping to get to the page and channel within the next you know week or two. How? How to? Do? <laughs> well anyway guys um, unfortunately this is where we're going to have to love and leave you for this weekly vlog. <laughs> so we both want to say a huge thank you for coming by. It means the world to both of us. And always do your best. To stay positive and screw all those negatives. <laughs> and we'll see you on the next one. Alright. All right. Bye. Bye. See you. Bye. Bye. Bye.